Which celebrity's death actually made you cry? That actor from Star Trek Anton Yelchin. Crushed by his own car. Steve Irwin. That man was so passionate about wildlife and it's good to see his wife and in these past few years his children keeping up the fight. Robin Williams. Alan Rickman. That was just such an unexpected one. And I genuinely cried when I read it. He was such an amazing actor and human. It's still sad he's gone. Dolores O'Riordan. Chester Bennington. Carrie Fisher and her mother Debbie Reynolds when they died within a few days of each other. Steve Irwin broke my kid's heart. Sam Lloyd. Can't watch Scrubs without feeling caught up. Was listening to the Blanks cover of Hey Ya the other day and I just froze. Never had a celebrity death have any effect on me in the past. David Bowie made me so sad. The world felt a bit less special without him in it. Now, I can play his music fine but one time in five it'll bum me out all over again. For my mother it was James Gandolfini. I was too young to know who he really was when he passed. But I've gotten to see his stuff now that I've gotten older. What a phenomenal actor and human being. Chris Farley. Kurt Cobain. He was a really big deal when I was a teenager and his music was what first got me playing the guitar. Jim Henson for sure. Maybe not a traditional celebrity. But the Muppets. Fraggle Rock. Dot Man. I'm still sad thinking about his death. Neil Peart. Chadwick Boseman. The fact that people made fun of him prior to his death made it so much worse. Rick Mayall's death got me right in the feels. Philip Seymour Hoffman. We knew his inner turmoil made him an amazing actor. Which is what made it all the more difficult to learn how he died. Naya Rivera. Knew it was unlikely she'd survived being missing in a lake. But it still stung when they announced finding her. Was still hoping for a miracle. Chadwick Boseman. Patrick Swayze. Heath Ledger. Chris Cornell. Leonard Nimoy. I still miss him. Jim Lay. Cameron Boyce. Steve Irwin and Alan Rickman. Eddie Van Halen. Chester Bennington. Elliot Smith. Although he could only barely be considered a celebrity. Etika. Chester Bennington. Owen Hart. George Michael. Anthony Bourdain. Robin Williams. M.F. Doom. Avicii. Stevie Ray Vaughan. Tom Petty. Chadwick Boseman. He died of a cancer similar to what I had. Hits close to home. Let me kill Mr. 
Alex Trebek. None. But I came really close when Neil Peart passed away. Love all you did Neil. Jim Henson. I think I was 10. It was like losing a beloved uncle you never met. Prince. Terry Pratchett. Bowie had me bummed pretty hard but Robin Williams was so unexpected and tragic that my wife and I toasted him and I did shed a couple tears. Chester Bennington Kurt Vonnegut I've loved his writings since I was 12. I still go through his bibliography about every two years. Daniel Johnston, a schizophrenic singer-songwriter who constantly battled his demons to make the most heartfelt and pure songs possibly ever. I still cry when I listen to his music. Grant Imahara from Mythbusters and Grant Thompson, they made me get into science. And hash X200B. Yup Chris Cornell. When Aussies goes I'm gonna ball like a baby. Not exactly a celebrity, but Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Peter Mayhew. Let his roars echo with our memories. Chris Cornell, Mac Miller. Princess Diana of Wales Prince. Anthony Bourdain. He was everything I wanted to be. Something amazing out of nothing. Profane and virtuous. And it wasn't enough. I cry about once every five years and that broke me. Robin Williams. Keith Flint of The Prodigy. Funny story. He owned a local pub and he had a jar that you had to put money into if you referenced him as a fire starter when he lit the open fire in the bar. Paul Walker. Carrie Fisher. John Lennon and then George Harrison. Chester Bennington. Robin Williams, Chester Bennington. Neil Peart. George Carlin. Selena Crying. David Bowie. Mac Miller. Kobe. Anthony Bourdain. Amy Winehouse. Michael Jackson. Alex Trebek. Chester Bennington. Lane Staley. Rick Mayall, the people's poet. Bill Paxton. I really enjoyed him. He was very well liked by those around him and I was looking forward to seeing him in more movies. Stan Lee. Robin Williams. Such a genuine good man. Tiny Lister. Maradona. Cameron Boyce. I still can't watch anything with him in it without getting emotional. Kobe Bryant. Fats Domino. John Prine and Guy Clark. Legends of their craft. Nick Cordero. Robin Williams. 
Ronnie James Dio, July 10, 1942 to May 16, 2010, M. RBG RBG. Of course she wasn't perfect and I didn't idolize her but I just felt so overwhelmed and defeated. That her passing was my emotional breaking point. David Bowie Lil Peep. He's had such a positive influence on my life. MCA. Rest in power Adam Yausch. Michael Clark Duncan. He was an amazing actor. Satoru Iwata. DMX ripped to a legend. Robin Williams specifically when the cartoon was circulating, Genie you're finally free. Loudly crying, loudly crying, loudly crying. John McCain surprisingly. Ayrton Senna. And I was not even born that year. Rick Mayall. Can't believe it's been almost seven years, what the hell. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe for more content.